Sir Isaac Newton PRS 25 December 1640 to 20 March 17 to 627 was an English mathematician, physicist, astronomer, alchemist, theologian, an author described in his time as a natural philosopher, widely recognized as one of the greatest mathematicians and physicists of all time, and among the most influential scientists. He was a key figure in the Philosophica illusion known as the Enlightenment. His book Philosophy Naturalis Principia Mathematica, Mathematical Principles of Natural Philosophy, first published in 1687, established classical mechanics. Newton also made seminal contributions to optics and shares credit with German mathematician Gottfried Wilhelm Leibniz for developing infinitesimal calculus. In the Principia, Newton formulated the laws of motion and universal gravitation that formed the dominant scientific viewpoint until it was superseded by the theory of relativity. Newton used his mathematical description of gravity.to derive Kepler's laws of planetary motion, account for tides, the trajectories of comets, the precession of the equinoxes, and other phenomena, eradicating doubt about the solar system's heliocentricity. He demonstrated that the motion of objects on Earth and celestial bodies could be accounted for by the same principles. Newton's inference that the Earth is an oblate spheroid was later confirmed by the geodetic measurements of Maupertus, La Condamine, and others, convincing most European scientists of the superiority of Newtonian mechanics over earlier systems. If I have seen further it is by standing on the shoulders of giants. I can calculate the motion of heavenly bodies but not the madness of people. Nature is pleased with simplicity, and nature is no dummy. What we know is a draw, what we don't know is an ocean. Truth is ever to be found in simplicity, and not in the multiplicity and confusion of things. No great discovery was ever made without a bold guess. A man may imagine things that are false, but he can only understand things that are true. If I have ever made any valuable discoveries, it has been due more to patient attention than to any other talent. And to every action there is always an equal and opposite or contrary reaction. What goes up must come down. He who thinks half probably will not believe in it. But he who really thinks has to believe in God. Live your life as an explanation rather than an explanation. You have to make the rules, not follow them. So Isaac Newton was asked how he discovered the law of gravity. He replied, by thinking about it all the time. To myself, I have only a child playing on the beach, while vast oceans of truth lie undiscovered before me. That is the art of making a point without making an enemy. Trials are medicines which our gracious and wise physician prescribes because we need them, and he proportions the frequency and weight of them to what the case requires. Let us trust his skill and thank him for his prescription. If I have seen further than others, it is by standing upon the shoulders of giants. To explain all nature is too difficult a task for any one man or even for any one age. Tis much better to do a little with certainty and leave the rest for others that come after them to explain all things by conjecture without making sure of anything. Whence arises all that order and beauty we see in the world. To explain all nature is too difficult a task for any one man or even for any one age. Our ordination. Sir Isaac Newton. 1642-1747, about the times of the end, a body of men will be raised up who will turn their attention to the prophecies, and insist upon their literal interpretation, in the midst of much clamor and opposition. Plato is my friend, Aristotle is my friend, but my greatest friend is truth. Yet one thing secures us whatever betide, the scriptures assures us that the Lord will provide. If I have been able to see further, it was only because I stood on the shoulders of giants. I have studied these things, you have not. What Descartes did was a good step. You have added much several ways, and especially in taking the colors of thin plates into philosophical consideration. 
If I have seen a little further it is by standing on the shoulders of giants. Truth is the offspring of silence and meditation. I keep the subject constantly before me and wait till the first dawnings open slowly, by little and little, into a full and clear light. In the absence of any other proof, the thumb alone would convince me of God's existence. This principle of nature being very remote from the conceptions of philosophers, I forbore to describe it in that book, lest I should be accounted an extravagant freak and so prejudice my readers against all those things which were the main design. To every action there is always a post and equal reaction. There are more sure marks of authenticity in the Bible than in any profane history. I can calculate the motion of heavenly bodies, but not the madness of people. If others would think as hard as I did, then they would get similar results. But for every action, there is an equal and opposite reaction. Gravity explains the motions of the planets, but it cannot explain who set the planets in motion. As a blind man has no idea of colors, so have we no idea of the manner by which the all wise God proceeds and understands all things. If I had done great things, it's because I was standing in the closet of smart men taking notes and then publishing their ideas as my own. They who search after the philosopher's stone are, by their own rules, obliged to a strict and religious life. A man may imagine things that are false, but he can only understand things that are true, for if the things be false, the apprehension of them is not understanding. The more time and devotion one spends in the worship of false gods, the less he is able to spend in that of the true one. If I have seen farther than others, it is because I was standing on the shoulders of giants. Tis much better to do a little with certainty and leave the rest for others that come after them to explain all things by conjecture without making sure of anything.